This is a tier list of the World of Warcraft private servers, aka servers free to play with no monthly subscription, that I've played on during the past year. All private servers ranked from best to worst according to my own experience playing on them. We have 5 categories in this tier list. S tier is for the best of the best. A tier are very good servers that I would still recommend for many players. B tier are solid servers but only good for a specific group. C tier are servers that I would generally not recommend, but there still might be one out of a hundred people for who the server would be the right fit. I'm not going below C tier since even a server that I consider really bad can be a good choice for some players. We all have different preferences. And the question mark tier is for the servers I don't know much about and most of them are still only in the testing phase and not fully launched yet. The server I've played on for the longest time and the server where I actually originally started my WoW journey in 2013 is Twinstar. They currently have two Cataclysm Realms, Apollo and Apollo 3. I also have a bunch of videos on both of the realms including in-depth reviews. Apollo 3 is a fresh progressive realm that launched in December, 11 months ago. At the start I would put it in a solid A tier. It had such a tremendous potential but it disappointed and so it fell down to a weak B tier at best. The server is mostly dead and a shell of its former self. Still has a few hundred players online across both realms. Overall Apollo is more active than Apollo 3 right now. WoW Circle also has Cataclysm Realms. Not too active and there is a big language barrier. I played on the server for a few hours too and I also made a review and a comparison video between Circle, Twin Star Apollo and War Sages. War Sages is a Spanish server and pretty comparable to WoW Circle in many regards. All these servers are solid and playable but that's about it. Nothing special really. All deserve B tier in my opinion. Project Neltharian and Sunwell slash White Mains Maelstrom are two brand new upcoming Cataclysm private servers that both are in a PTR testing phase now. That's if there were no changes since summer because I haven't heard of any of those two in quite a while and there's a chance the projects might have been dropped. If anybody has any info on them let me know. Both go into the question mark category for now. One custom vanilla server worth mentioning that really blew up in the last few months is Turtle Wow. I've heard a lot of good things about it from players that commented under my videos. I've yet to try it myself, but from what I've heard, there's around 3000 players online at peak. There's a bunch of custom stuff including custom races, high elves and goblins, custom instances and a lot more. If you want to play a non blizz like vanilla WoW server in late 2022, Turtle Wow will be your go-to. I haven't tried it myself so I will put it in the question mark tier but from what I've heard it might be a contender for the S tier. So let me know, those of you who have played there, if I should have put it in S or not. Everlook is another vanilla project that is still in the works with an open PTR for now. It may be a good choice for a vanilla server in the future so keep an eye on it if that's your favorite expansion. This will be in the question mark tier for now. Controversial opinion, you either love it or you hate it. But I say Warmain is the best Wrath of Lich King private server for most people. Warmain is not just the Ice Crown realm that people hate for its pay to win. There are 4 realms to choose from, each delivering a very different experience. I have an in-depth Warmain review on my channel which covers it all and I have also been playing there on and off this year so you can find various videos of it on my channel. For these reasons it is a solid S in my book. An alternative to Warmain for Russian speakers is WoW Circle, literally almost as if copy pasted Warmain in Russian. I will put it only in the A tier though since it is not very welcoming to the international community. Oh yeah and we only have one WoW Circle icon so uh, B tier for WoW Circle in Cataclysm, A tier for WoW Circle in Wrath of the Lich King. There are so many Wrath of the Lich King private servers out there that I'm definitely gonna forget about mentioning some even if I tried not to. Dalaran WoW comes to mind, it's a staple among WoW private servers and it's been up for many years. Low populated but a friendly environment, I will put Dalaran WoW in the B tier. It's not my cup of tea, I'm a PvP player primarily, thus I need a high population, but it may be a good choice for people that prefer the world less crowded. Chromicraft is a custom progressive Wrath of Lich King server that I've never played on, but also heard good things about. I will put it in the question mark tier. Missa Pandaria. Let's start with Tauri, that used to be S tier until 2021. 
Then, Stormforge's Mistblade came in January 2022, and Tauri died. Tauri is now a strong B tier. It has low population, but insanely good scripting still. The only thing that kills it is the lack of player base that went to Mistblade for the fresh experience. And Mistblade by Stormforge is essentially what Tauri used to be prior to 2021, and maybe even stronger population wise. S tier, no doubt. Twinstar has also been reported on working on a Mesopanaria server for a few years now. I can't guarantee if it's ever gonna happen, but it won't be anytime soon, that's for sure. So, Twinstar, Mesopanaria, big question mark. UAU is the most populated Legion server right now. I played on it in December and January this year and also made some review videos on it. It is a solid server with decent scripting, but you will find an occasional annoying bug. And since it has pretty much no competition on the Legion scene right now, it's A tier. Firestorm would be good, but is dead. B tier. Since you are still able to do some content and 1v1 arenas here and there on it, and I just really love their grey main PvP realm. Freaks and Firestorm people are working on a new fresh legion called Felsong, which should be coming out later this year. They are in the alpha testing phase now. So this is another question mark server, but I wasn't able to find a logo for the server. So just keep in mind again, Felsong is a question mark for now. Tauri's legion is a meme at this point. It's been in the works since I was like 8 years old, JK. So let's hope when, if it ever launches, it will have been worth the wait. Shadowlands on Freaks is pretty underwhelming, mostly dead, so I don't really see a reason in playing it, especially if there's Firestorm's Shadowlands, which is also not doing too well, but still way better than Freaks. Freaks is C tier, and Firestorm is a B tier. And lastly, few honorable mentions. Stormforge's Forging, which was dead on arrival, seems to have been closed since. That was one of the many fresh Wrath of Lich King servers this year. Rest in peace, Forging. There's no real expansion suitable for a custom server like Ascension. It is an S tier server though, so it wouldn't be right if I didn't include it. It was also the winner in my video about the most interesting and fun WoW private servers, so more info on it there. Servers such as Firestorm, WoW Circle and others also run different expansions. They are usually empty or have somewhere up to around 50 players online max, so I'm not including those as I have not played on any of them. Keep in mind this is only my opinion and my own experience from a specific period within the last year, so it may differ from your own. I'm sure I forgot about some private servers that I wanted to mention, so please remind me in the comments Ask me about my opinion and include your own as well. And check out some of the videos I made in the past on many of the servers I mentioned today. Thanks for watching, I hope you find a server of your liking.